When you first hear the word diabetes, certain things may come to mind, such as fast food and obesity. But that's type 2 diabetes, not what we're talking about today. Type 1 diabetes is a chronic and autoimmune disease, but what actually happens? Well, insulin is a hormone produced in the pancreas that goes to the bloodstream. When you have type 1 diabetes, these insulin-producing cells in the pancreas are killed by an autoimmune response. Here you can see a cell membrane with an insulin receptor. Usually, under normal functioning conditions of insulin, insulin will bind to the insulin receptors and set off a chain reaction inside the cell that will allow glucose to enter. Without insulin, glucose will remain in the blood. So, glucose is stuck in the bloodstream, but what's so bad about diabetes? Symptoms include extreme fatigue and thirst, but diabetes can eventually lead to heart disease, diabetic kidney disease, blindness, nerve pain, diabetic comas, foot problems, and other things that eventually lead to death. There is no cure. So, what is it like to have type 1 diabetes? I have to test my blood sugar four times a day, and I have to take insulin four times a day. Activities, you have to check your blood sugar a lot throughout, because there's a danger that your blood sugar will go low. So, that's a little difficult with sports, because you have to keep pausing to check your blood sugar. And in daily life, I would say mainly it's hard, like, before meals. So this is my meter. And basically, it's, it has a meter, and you put a test strip in, and then it turns on, and you prick your finger, and the blood goes in, and it, like, shows you the number of your blood sugar. I'm at 162, that's a good number. This is my insulin, and basically, I, there are three methods of taking your insulin for a diabetic. You can take it from a vial and syringe, which I do for my long-acting insulin. It's basically just the vial and syringe, and then there's a pen where you, like, the insulin is in here, and you dial the insulin, and then you take a pen a needle and you screw it on and you take off the cap and the needle's there and you just push the button and it goes in and then there's an insulin pump. Um, this is my glucagon and it's basically like an EpiPen I guess for diabetics if your blood sugar goes really low. This is for like if you're unconscious on the ground or if you're like you don't know what's happening and you can't like drink juice or eat any sugar like willingly and basically it has like a big syringe and you just put it into this like vial of powder and you like roll it up so the liquid like mixes in with the powder and you put it back in the syringe and like put it in the person <laughs> and you call the hospital after that. In the United States there are 3 million people with type 1 diabetes and an additional 15,000 are diagnosed every year. Between 2001 and 2009, the population of type 1 diabetics under the age of 20 rose by 23%. A diabetic teenager's yearly health care costs are about $7,500 more than an average teen's. Type 1 diabetes costs the United States $14.9 billion every year. So who are we? We are high school students who want to make a difference. We care about science, compassion, and efficiency and are working towards a future of democratized medical research.